Hello friends, my name is Hasib Ansari from HiFiCode.com. Welcome and thank you for joining me in today's video. In the last video, we saw how we can integrate Java applications which is deployed on Wildfly or Tomcat with Keyclock SSO login. And in today's video, we will move one step ahead by integrating a JavaScript plain application with Keyclock SSO login. In detail, we will see how to integrate a plain JavaScript application, front-end application via Keyclock SSO login and how can we parse the token that we receive from the Keyclock server. So this application basically have a single page and in, the, in this tabular form, we will be displaying the token information and in this two text area I will be showing uh, the access token over here and the refresh token over here and both will be in the form of JSON web token we will learn more about JSON web token in the future videos in the future videos of this series so in this one page application if I go to this address bar and if I click enter I will be not redirected to any login page and uh, just it's simply because it is not connected to any key clock right now or any authentication and one more important thing to note over here especially with the JavaScript adapter that our client in key clock when we make it we have to make sure that it is a public client and it is the, it is not having any client credentials because in a front-end application like this we have nowhere to store the client credentials from the front end and also it would make no sense to send a client credential which would be visible to the outside world. Hence we make a, a JavaScript application as a public client and also uh, only the base URL of this application will be authenticated. So the first endpoint when we come to the application uh, the key clock adapter JavaScript adapter checks whether the authentication is required or not for this application and if it is required it will redirect to the key clock login page and then we come back there is no authorization involved especially in this kind of applications pure front-end applications instead uh, we grab the token the access token from the key clock and then we use it as a bearer token to invoke the HTTP services or backend services. So with this information I will move forward in integrating this one page JavaScript application to the key clock SSO login and so without wasting any further time let's get started. So the very first thing I will do I will quickly go to the key clock admin console and with a new application we need a new client in key clock so I will quickly create one client for our today's video session so I'll quickly go to clients create new client I'll give it a name I go JS and I'll say so it will be a open ID connect and save and right now I don't have to change a lot I have to keep this thing public very important we cannot create confidential client for a JavaScript application valid redirect URIs I'll keep it wildcard and web origins wildcard and that's it what we need quickly save this and then I need at one point this information now I'll go to my project setup and in the project uh, I just have one HTML file one file for showing the logout page and the CSS the styling of the page and the JavaScript so right now it is empty and so what we need to do is integrate this application to have a key clock login so the very first thing that we require is we simply go to our tab or to our installation tab copy this information and make sure that we need to have a file called as keyclock.json on the same directory where you have the HTML files so for me it is in the root file folder 
So I'll quickly create one file on the same level and name it as keyclock.json and I will copy the contents. So this is one thing that we need. The second thing we need to import the JSON or oh, sorry the JavaScript adapter to our index.html file. So for that there is two possibilities. So I will just show what uh, is the preferred way of doing it. So I will copy this line and I will import it from the server. So the key clock server that I am currently running. So if I go here, what I need is the URL path and I'll quickly get the rest of the part from the key clock documentation. So you can go to keyclock.org docs, server installations and configurations and oh, sorry not this one. So securing application and services, open id connect, then javascript adapter and I need this path. So what this, this will do, this will get the keyclock library or the JavaScript file directly from the running server of keyclock that we are, that we are having. Another way is to manually download this keyclock.js and store it in the project directory and then refer to that uh, script. But uh, having this kind of configuration is preferred way so that if you change your keyclock to a newer version, then you don't have to also change the file in your local uh, directory. And this is also a preferred way which is uh, there in the documentation. And now I can start filling our JavaScript logic file. So I have already the code in my GitHub repository. I will quickly refer to it, copy the contents from there, and then I will have a quick explanation of it. So quickly go to my GitHub repository, which is here. Copy the contents and paste it over here. So we have the first init call to the key clock, which is executing this method. And it is nothing but says the adapter that whenever it is loaded, whenever this application is loaded for the first time, it needs a login with key clock. And this is what it says that not to go to the application directly, but via the process of key clock login. So once we have the success in this thing, uh, I have just two methods, which is doing nothing, but uh, in the application, what we saw, it will just fill this table and this text area with the suitable information or the token contents and the refresh token and the access token information. We have another method which is called as the refresh token and uh, so access token has a lifespan of five minutes and after this five minutes the access token got expired and needs to be updated and this method from the key clock javascript file we will use to update this access token with the help of refresh token we get from the first call of the key clock in it. And uh, I'm just showing both the tokens on the front end. And uh, then we have the last method which will help us to log out from the current session of the key clock. So the rest of the contents in this file, in this JavaScript file is self-explanatory and you can refer to my repository to get this example and it is pretty much straightforward everything over here and uh, then once it is done we can call this method on our first load by adding this thing in the body. So on the body I will say on load call the very first method we have in our JavaScript file. And this should be pretty much it from the configuration side of a Spring of a JavaScript application.
After this, I will quickly open the application in the browser and see if I would be able to redirect to the key clock login page or not. So I am redirected to the key clock login page and now I use the user which I created in the first Spring Boot application which was admin and admin and because this application also uh, is in the same realm this user should work for this application too. So once I press enter I am inside the application and now this time you can see in the tab in the table we have the token information in place. So this is the admin user, his full name, his email address and as well as we can see the access token and below the refresh token as well. Now when I try to update the token so it is not updating because of the fact that in the key clock admin console let me quickly show you in the, in the key clock admin console for the default value of the access token lifespan, lifespan is five minutes so that's why even if we are trying to update the token it is not updating but from the code side if we want to force push this update we can quickly go back to our refresh token logic and instead of giving min validity as 10 I will just simply keep it as minus 1 and this will force to update the token on every click so I will just refresh the page I'll make this thing bigger and now when I click update so this will be updating so the above one is the access token and this one is the refresh token to get a new access token so every time I click I get a new access token and a new refresh token and the last feature of this video will be the logout functionality so in our code we have this last method in a javascript file which simply does a logout and the redirect to this html file so when well, i go back and here is the logout button if i click logout i will be shown the logout html file and if i try to go back to the application i have to log in again to get access to the application so this is what a uh, key clock integration with JavaScript application works like. So one more thing I want to make a point here. So I am running a small Python simple HTTP server on this port in order to make this uh, application work with key clock. So if you open this uh, application via the file system name because as uh, this is an HTML file and the browser can understand the HTML or interprets the HTML file. If you try to open this application with this in, or in this format, you will never get access to the application because Keyclock understands the HTTP protocol and not the file system protocol. So make sure or simply all you need to do is you need to get into the directory where your html file is and from that directory you simply execute this command which is python minus m simple http server and the port that you want to use so once you have this so if i go back to my application and i try to run I think this is cached so I empty the cache and if I try to run this yeah so I, I have nothing on this server so I will quickly open this or this listening on 1991 I'll open this port and I'll go back again to this application and I refresh so I'm back again on this port so this is how you can also run this HTML file on the simple HTTP server from Python and so friends this is it in today's video so to conclude what we saw in today's video we saw a JavaScript a plain JavaScript application with one page 
integrated via the key clock SSO login. We saw how the refreshing of the access token and to generate new access token. And then we also saw the functionality of how key clock JavaScript adapter works with the logout functionalities. So I will end this video here. If you find this video was helpful, kindly show your support by liking this video, sharing the video and subscribing to my channel. If you have any questions, feedback or any suggestions, please use the comment section below and I will try to respond to it. So friends, this is it. Uh, I hope I will see you in the next video. So till then, stay safe, stay blessed and thank you all.